Here we've got a little mixed review of solving equations. With this one, it's basic logarithmic, logarithmic definition that you take this as the base, 3. You raise it to this number, which is the exponent, so 3 raised to the 4. And then that equals the x. So then 3 to the 4, well, that would be 4 threes in a row, so that's going to be 9 times 9, so it's an 81. Over here, we're solving for an exponent. About the only way to do that is use logarithms. So take log of both sides. Since I happen to use log base 10, that's what LOG stands for, then it's actually going to cancel out this 10. If you didn't realize that, or if this number 10 was anything besides a 10, here's what you do. You use the rule of logarithms that says once you have this logarithm, you can take this exponent, you bring it down here in front, and multiply. So we would have x plus 1 in parentheses multiplied with log of 10 equals log of 7. Then in order to solve for x, we need to get rid of this log base log 10. So divide both sides by this number. So we would have log 7 divided by log 10. And then at that point, we don't need the parentheses anymore. Last thing to do is just subtract 1. So x is equal to log 7 divided by log 10, subtract 1. And then to get a decimal approximation for that, so log 7 divided by log 10, and then subtract 1. Negative. 0.155. Now, if we would have gotten a negative for this one right here, the x cannot be negative, and the base cannot be negative. But this one has an exponent. Exponents can be negative, so there's no problem with that. And what about this one over here? So we can use logarithm again. You could use the same idea. But if you use natural log of both sides, that's the inverse of the exponential function, the e function. And so these two are going to cancel each other out, and the 2x will just drop down. Then just divide by 2 on both sides. So natural log of 17 gets divided by 2. And that is natural log of 17, close the parentheses, gets divided by 2, 1417 with a decimal. And then, a good reminder of the quadratic formula. So x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4 times a and times c, all divided by 2 times the a. So we've got 4 plus or minus square root of what? So this would be 16. This, that's going to be an imaginary number. So we've got 16 minus 4 times 13, negative 38. Let's see, are there any perfect squares in 38? Do you need to reduce that? I think not, because this is 19 times 2, both of which are prime numbers. So really the only thing we have to do is say the square root of a negative is an imaginary number.
Notice that you cannot reduce this anymore. Many people will try to reduce this right here, but this does not have an even number in it. Inside the radical it does, but not outside the radical. We would need like right here by the i, or right here by the i, we would need a 2, 4, 6, or 8, in other words, in, in for us to be able to reduce. Unless it's an even, 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 you can't divide by 2.